All right, we got a very, very exciting upgrade for the X-Max. We're going to be installing the Proline root body for the X-Max. Enjoy the video. All right, as you can probably tell, this body, it's not gonna cut it. I mean, at this point, when you're doing a wheelie, the only thing that's, yeah, it's basically just a roll cage. Like this just cracks pretty everywhere. So it's only time for a new one. So first thing we're gonna do is start by taking off the hardware on this body. All right, so we have all the parts off. Um, I'm gonna give them a good scrub just so they look new again. Maybe I'll take apart some of these pieces. So we're gonna give it a good scrub. Then we can start installing it on the new body. All right, got these all cleaned up. I also got these washers of Amazon for around six or seven bucks. Um, so that will just help. And these still had these will have more give. So get those installed in there and then we can start getting the body. First things first, it is thick. Like you just feel it. It doesn't got nearly as give, nearly as much give as stock bodies. Just get that out of the package. My only disappointment is it's white and it's gonna have to stay white but it comes with stickers, so that would be nice. Put that out of the way. So, there's our body. It's a, it's a really cool finish. It's pretty smooth, but it's got pretty much no, no flex to it at all. It feels, it's like way, way thicker. So, here's our stickers. Looks like we're gonna have to cut those ourselves. Oh, I got damage on there. Point. Yep, so we'll do that. First, we're gonna get everything installed. All right, something to note, um, these washers that I got, the stock hardware doesn't fit in those little grooves. So I'm just grabbing a screw like this. Um, it fits in there nicely and it ends up being around the same size, so we're just gonna have to use these. They're stainless steel, so I guess it's better. All right, so everything's installed. Um, one thing to note, installing the back part, the front was smooth. Other thing ain't good. Installing the back was really difficult. I had to really muscle those in. Um, it's good now, uh, but I used metal washers on the back, like I said, because I lost one. And this locking mechanism, it's really tough. It's, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's, it's tough, but it'll probably loosen up a time. Maybe I'll take a heat gun to it and kind of just hold it there so it kind of stays good. But um. It's heavy, that's another thing to note, but it should be more durable, so we're gonna start installing the stickers now. All right, so you're gonna want a sharp X-Acto blade. I'll just make this so much easier. These are not pre-cut, so uh, logos, window masks, and then these pieces are for the side, so. Yes, we'll start right at the very front. We're gonna try to go really slow. I'm not the best at stickers at all. So I really don't wanna mess this up. All right, got all that front on. Looks pretty good. This part came damaged, a little disappointing. Tried to flatten it out. Um, it's hard, you gotta cut it. So expect to be spending a lot of time on this if you're gonna put all the stickers on. All right, all done. Man, these Proline non-pre-cut stickers are a pain. Expect to be working for one to two hours. I'm not a fast worker. I had to take many breaks. It took me a while. Um, these, especially these parts down here. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do them. I decided if I'm gonna keep them on or not, but those are hard. So got my X-Max sticker back there and tracks the sticker on the front. And I also added this piece here. Besides that, all these stickers come with the body. So, throw it on the truck, see what it looks like. This back part's kind of hard to get into. 
That's kind of the same thing with the regular XMX body. All right. There it is. get a roof skid and tailgate protector we'll see how that fits i got that on another body um thanks for watching today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit that bell so you don't miss anything we've got some stuff coming out soon that's gonna be really awesome